let us assume I have two different clients. I have one client in Windows operating system. I have one more client in Linux operating system. First, let me configure the client and server setup. On top of client and server setup, we will do all the examples. Okay, and I have one more new queue manager. This is my two clients I have. One client is in Windows operating system. Other client is in Linux operating system. Okay, this is my, my queue manager. Let us assume this is my queue manager. What is my queue manager name? Uh, for example, my queue manager name is here server queue manager, server queue. Let us assume this is my client one. My client one, let me show you. This is my local machine I am taking as client one. Who oh, yeah, am I? My username you can see here. And let me take my AWS console. I have two operating systems. Let me AWS console. Let me log into AWS console. Good. Let me go for EC2. I have two operating system. One is the two machines I have. One is for. Let me consider this is my queue manager level. Open my putting. Okay, we are good. That is 243. Okay. Good. Let me make some more size. Let me increase some font size. For font size can increase the more. Let me make this as 20 characters. We are good. So as UI fun, switch as MQM user. Let us assume, let me let me end this queue manager. Let me make fresh configuration. Good. On server side, we have to create some components, queue manager, and I need to create a queue for holding the messages. I need to create the queue also for holding the messages. Let us assume my queue name. Let us assume my queue name is here, receive queue or some, whatever queue name you want, you can create the same name, the queues. This is my queue name. Oh, my queue name I am taking as receive queue. Okay, I have a server connection channel. Even for two clients, we can use same server connection, same server connection channels. You don't need to create multiple server connection channels. And I have to create a listener here. Now, my listener name is my server connection channel name is here two dot server QM. And my listener name, let us assume my listener name and port number, let me consider CRVERQM dot LSTR. And let us assume my port number I'm taking as here 1415 is my port number. Okay. Let me create these components on server side first. Okay, we are good. Let me kill previous process. There are some process running here. Good. Let me create this process also. We are good. Let me delete previous queue manager. We are good. Let me create a queue manager called server QM. Start the queue manager. Stay here MQM server QM. We are good. And see, queue manager is running. Let me create the remaining components. Now we are going to create a queue manager. Define channel of channel name two dot server QM. Channel type is here server connection channel. We are good. Define listener of listener name. My listener name is here server QM dot LST here. ERP type PCP, my port number is 1415, and I'm giving control of Q manager. Sort listener of listener name. My listener name is here. Server QM dot LST here. And check whether it's running or not. And I can see my listener is running status. We are good. And we have to create some queues. Let us assume my local queue name is receive queue. Any, any name you can take. I am taking my local queue name as receive queue. 
and let me establish the client connection set setup from my local machine this is my local machine now i am first of all i am not able to put the messages first i want to put messages in receive queue my queue manager is a server queue we get 205 we get some errors because we don't have established the communication till mana client ki inka communication establish cheyaledu ipude now let me make some environmental variable okay we are good let me create some environmental variable if any old environmental variables are there no environment old environment is not there let me set mq variable set mq server equal to my channel m2 dot server qm trp type tcp my server ip address i have to provide my server ip address this is my server ip address where my queue manager is located and my port number is here 1415 1415 we are good on that part we can see we can see here now let me open this let me close and open the command prompt once okay we are good now check whether echo percentage percentage mq server we are good now try to put the messages amq has put c i want to put message receive queue my queue manager name is here server qm now 2058 we are not authorized to put the messages my user id is uh, you can see even you can find out in the logs also same issue uh, where in server side we can find if you get 2035 error we can see here you can go for where mqm q managers this is my q manager right here in errors folder you can see here the first log you can see the information you can see user id this is my user id you can see this is my user id my user id doesn't have permissions to put the messages on that particular queue manager now you need to allow the permissions by using set mq aut iphone m my queue manager name is here server qm iphone t type qm gr iphone p user name and you can do let me give all permissions and give the queue level also we have to give queue manager level and queue level also server qm iphone n q name iphone t object type q iphone p user name and have to give all permissions now we can able to put the messages and you can able to get the messages successfully you can see we are able to put the messages if you want you can see here when you connected you can see the status of the channel you can see run mqac server qm display chs of two dot server qm we can see now it is connected this is my ip address where my client is connecting if you use all command you get some more information you can get the in our applic tag you can get the application name which application is trying we can see mca user by default it will take as uh, which user is trying to take by default it is going to take that user and how many messages my channel come you can see here and we can see this properties last message get time get date and all the properties we can see here మనం ఈ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ద్వారా మనం ఏంటంటే ఏ అప్లికేషన్ కనెక్ట్ అవుతుంది ఆర్ ఏ యూజర్ పుట్ చేస్తున్న మెసేజెస్ ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మొత్తాన్ని మనం చూడవచ్చు ఇప్పుడు ఒక కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ చేసాం దిస్ ఈస్ మై క్యూ మేనేజర్ మై ఐపీ అడ్రస్ ఈస్ దిస్ ఈస్ మై లోకల్ మెషిన్ మై లోకల్ మెషిన్ ఐపీ అడ్రస్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు సీ యూ క్యాన్ సీ హియర్ రైట్ ఐపీ ఇన్ఫో దిస్ ఈస్ మై ప్రైవేట్ ఐపీ దిస్ ఈస్ మై రోటర్ ఐపీ అని హ్యావ్ ఈ ఐపీ ద్వారా కనెక్ట్ అవుతున్నారు దిస్ ఈస్ వన్ ఐపీ అండ్ మై యూజర్ నేమ్ ఈస్ హియర్ which is my client name is here lakas which is my client name you can see 122 171 19.229 even you can see here also you can see you can see connection name you can see here same ip will be there okay one client connection established successfully now i have a new client for example i have one more new server one more new client is there again my new client want to connect to the queue manager Oh, let us assume this is now my new client as server 2 this is a different ip now my new client even my new client want to connect to the same queue manager and he want to put the messages uh, for example my client name i am taking as here username equal to let me take my client my username as a white 
any name you can take let us assume i am taking my username as white okay let me first open my server new session good okay okay let me open okay this is the id we are good open this applications let me give my ppk file we are good on that part good so do i see why fun let me create a user first with the username as white you're good switch as user and set time mp environmental variable from this linux machine from your client to server export mq server equal to your channel name let's your channel name here two dot server two m PRP type TCP my queue manager IP address my queue manager is located in this server so this is my server one here my queue manager is located let me give that one IP and my port number is here 1415 in this way let me environment variable is set now let me try to if you want to see environment variable you can use set command I can set it out can see it my environment variable is set successfully some error i had got something i had you had to my okay, we are good on that part now try to put the messages opt mqm i have to go to the particular path where amks could see is there opt mqm sam bin amqs put c i want to put messages in receive queue which sits in server qm1 server qm sorry my queue manager name is server 2035 even this user also white user doesn't have the permission to put the messages now what we need to do we need to go to the queue manager and we need to give the permissions to the white user also this is the username i have to provide my username here right we are good invalid user invalid if you get that user is not there on queue manager level we need to add that user we are good switch as mq and give the permissions we are good give the permissions to q manager level set mq aut iphone m my q manager name is here server qm iphone and receive iphone t object type qmgr iphone p username is white and i have to give complete permissions let us assume now try to put the messages from the client so let me put some messages from the client you can see right we are able to put the messages if you want to get the messages we are able to get the messages now connection is established successfully if you want you can try here you can see put c just you can make applications to open you can go set q manager go inside q manager you can use the command mmqse server qm display chs of two dot server queue you can see two clients are connected one this channel this channel is coming from 229 ip this channel is from 79 ip you can see this is my secondary ip 